Okay, so now let's try uh, applying the sorted edges algorithm to our travel cost graph here. So let's go ahead and start by listing all of the uh, edges from cheapest to most expensive. So the cheapest one we have is Seattle uh, to LA uh, with a cost of 70. We've got uh, next cheapest Chicago to Atlanta with a cost of 75. Uh, Atlanta to Dallas with a cost of 85. Uh, LA to Chicago with a cost of 100. Uh, we've got uh, Dallas to Seattle with a cost of 120. Uh, Seattle to Atlanta with a cost of 140. Uh, Seattle to Chicago with a cost of 145. Uh, LA to Dallas with a cost of 150. Uh, Chicago to Dallas with a cost of 165. And LA to Atlanta with a cost of 170. Hopefully that's all of them. Uh, and really, just so you know, I mean, you don't really have to list these all out if you're good at searching. Uh, but sometimes it's helpful to list them all out in advance. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, Seattle to LA is our first edge. Uh, let's see here, what was that? That was Chi um, Chicago to Atlanta, right? Chicago to Atlanta for 75. Notice that these do not have to be connected yet. Uh, everything will connect out just fine in the end. Uh, so next we've got Atlanta to D Dallas. That's our next cheapest. Uh, LA to Chicago. Uh, Dallas to Seattle. And okay, we got really lucky. Uh, we're done at this point, uh, and we have our circuit. Seattle, LA, Chicago, Atlanta, Dallas, and back home to Seattle uh, is what we get from the sorted edges algorithm here. And this one does turn out to be the optimal circuit. Uh, we also happen to find this using nearest neighbor.